Hello. <coughs> Pardon. Hello, everyone. Um, welcome to tonight's first of five. Uh, I'm your regular host, Squid Guy, and I'm here with no one. I'm doing it alone today. Poor planning on my end, but you know, the matches will speak for themselves, and I'll just try my best to solo commentate. Um, I guess before we start, one more thing. Literally a couple minutes, like like half an hour ago, I was just walking to like eat dinner, and uh, I fuck, like I saw like a black spot in my left eye, and boom, I got stung by an insect that got stuck in between my face and my glasses. So that fucking sucks. Uh, anyway, <laughs> um, we are gonna start with Pet versus. Gully or MK42 Hustler, uh, and since I have no idea, because both both of these players signed up with like two characters, I want Pat is probably yeah Pat's gonna play Soul, and uh, Gully is gonna play Jan. That's gonna be very cool. Then we're gonna have Apsy versus Pet uh, Nuts 43, our favorite name. Um, that's gonna be Biken versus Heyun. That's an interesting matchup. Uh, both of these players are more towards the beginner end though, so give them some slack and, and I'll do my best to give them some tips. Maybe if you some, know something in chat, you can always say that help. Uh, we're gonna have k &E versus Oriol. Oriol is previously known as a Biken player, but is now a traitor and has become uh, has become an Elfeld player. <laughs> the, that's gonna be a fun matchup. Uh, oh, I, ju I just realized I misspelled Escapi Escaptain. Uh, we're gonna have Escaptain versus Avriso, Avriso 1. Uh, May versus versus Kai, that's kind of a wacky matchup that's quite hard for me, but it is very entertaining to watch. And lastly, uh, I'm gonna try my best of luck versus Lenneth Lilly, who's a strong Dizzy player, so I'm looking forward to that. It's an interesting matchup. Um, so, we should probably just get to it. Wait. I can say that they can start, but I don't have my fucking scoreboard thing. Uh, this one... This one, this one, this. So let me be dumb, Kurt. That's the wrong file. And I miss when this was just correct all the time. Oh, I got a stretch already. Oh, let me just stretch during uh, right at the start of your match. Oh, the monster energy soul color. Alright, starting off strong. The fake mix. Jam has a little bit of a slower wake up time. You gotta keep that in mind. Good punish there. You know, Jam being able to cancel her specials into each other. Gotta make you ready for those punishes. Missed on the run flame. Probably want to get the side switch. That's a good whiff punish there. Oh, tried to hard bait the burst. Doesn't want to commit to too much. There we go. Nice whiff punish. Nope. Oh. Good dead angle, wants to keep Pet in the corner. Oh yeah, that's a strong conversion from Pet, but didn't get much out of it. Nice air throw to finish the round. Oh no, good ideas. Oh! Right, <laughs> tried to blitz them, I, I respect it, probably calling out uh, the HVB there. Some big damage. Gotta hold this pressure, nice. Caught the right stomp, didn't get much out of it. Very weird, Bennett revolver hit, but hey, it worked. Good parry. Previous time we saw Pet going over the parry with that jumping key, but this time it didn't seem to work out. 
What a clash. Max card Legion wires you. Excuse me? Got the heart rate to burst again? Ooh. That just made the game like. Oh no! Oh god, what's going on? It's okay, we keep going. Oh no. Oh, there we go. I DDP. Tried to bait the worst again, I think. Nice air throw. That's kind of difficult, throwing them out of a uh, Venom Revolver like that. And get an IED confirmed, that's very hard draw like that. Nice pickup. Oh! Another burst bait. Pet is not giving it. Yeah, I couldn't get the anti air there. Jumps jump bait is too strong. Another burst bait. Yeah, man, Gully takes the first game. What's the problem? Was the connection bad? Ah, it's whatever. An instant parry, that's how we're starting. Mr. 2D. Oh, Mr. the DP. Didn't want to take the punish. Just Grand Viper out, okay. Nice, we're punish on the 6P. That's a good ender. Want, want to do a low. Jam can only parry uh, mids, highs, projectiles. So if you if you just do a low on her wake up, she can't parry it. She's forced to low blitz, which is risky. If she wants to parry at all. There we go. That's the blitz, but this one. Oh, charge it for too long. Good parry with the jump. Good uh, parry, but you know the jumping P doesn't give a shit. <laughs> Soul's hurt box is so high. Nice. I did if he catches the fucking riot stem because it was close to the corn. There's the empty low. Nice. Full confirm. Doesn't bait the dead angle. Looks like it was about to bait it. Good punish. <laughs> Finish it off with the uppercut. That's 1-1. One, one. What the fuck was that air throw? <laughs> oh, the empty throw doesn't work out, I think. Oh, that was a missed IED. Gully's spending a lot of meter. Oh, that's a big hit. No burst. That's gonna do a lot of damage with Hellfire. Yeah, that was burst save. Oh, Gully. 
You don't want to burst the uh, Bandit Bringer after it hits. You want to burst it in the startup. Good 6P. Yeah, there we go. Empty low again. You gotta represent it. Oh, a little bit too high. Try to go for the after all reset. Oh, does it get the ender? Just gets a throw. Meaty wire sea wild throw. Leave it to pet. I used to think gems jump H was OP. It hurts her when it hits high. That doesn't stop it from being really fucking OP. That's like saying like, oh yeah, if you buff, if if Viking uh, if Viking uses her jump H wrong, it's bad. So it's not OP. It's definitely OP. Um, good awareness there, going for the knockdown instead, went for the attack trap. Lost the corner for it, but still got the extra hit. Pet being pet. IDDP neutral. Nice air throw. Yeah, it's just only bad with poor position. But that's like saying that Johnny is an OP. I mean, like, Johnny is, o Johnny is OP, but only if you can do his combos. Hydrate. Okay. Air throw you halfway across the screen. Nice avoiding the DP. Doesn't get a punish out of it though. Nice confirm. Cross up Gekkery. Okay. Whoa, holy crap. The 6 H normal hit confirmed. I used to think Zwei was OC, but it really hurts if he doesn't fire C. There is it, there is it. Oh, there it is, there it is. That overhead. That wacky hit stop doesn't get the pick up after. Yeah, there you go. That's throwing Vaughn. Oh yeah, that's burst save. Try to delay burst, but you know if you delay your if you delay your burst, all that's gonna happen is that he's just gonna recover and block it, or you know he links into jump K, which is throw, and then you just get burst run. Yeah, he's dead. I mean, Everest, what you're saying is like, oh, it needs to be used with at least a little bit of finesse. And frank frankly, that's true That's true about just about anything in, in, uh, in Guilty Gear. For some things less than others, but yeah, if you use something, if you use something too carelessly, at some point, people are gonna fuck you for trying, you know? Yeah, including Elfeld 6H. <laughs> Think her jump? Yeah, I mean, I, I agree with you, kid. But you know, least finesse doesn't mean zero. Try to go for the throw. Oh, that's a lot of meter. Oh damn, dash up parry, that's good for meter. 
Just the, the dance of the people of their people. <laughs> oh my god, another air throw like that. Good confirm. Nice to lay 5 H to keep her uh, at a good height. Double Fafnir. I saw a counter hit. This could be a little bit close to stun. No, drop the ID. Oh, weird spike. Bad. Okay. DP right through the parry. Pet just ran into the corner? Oh, it's the connection again, isn't it? Just don't let it be like... What the fuck? What the fuck was that? Turbo button? <laughs> what? Please tell me I'm not going crazy. Gully! Gully, what are you doing? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> this is the tool bag. Why does the rest of the match look normal? Gully is going apeshit. <laughs> oh, good tech crap. Nice look at DP, got the corner out of this. There's no knockdown sadly. Nice, blocked the jump page, chose to get the extra air action. Bombos in 10 frames. Hit the 5D. Dude, he burst super. That did look very wacky. You just had very cool games. I don't know what that was. That was strange. I hope to... I said GG's, but it wasn't GG's. It was BG's. My dude just said G's. Alright, so... Uh, I hope the rest of the... Night is gonna be a little bit more smoothly. E UFO, thank you for the follow. Um, next up, we're gonna have Absy versus Fat Nuts 43. Just... And Absy is scared. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a pretty funny matchup. Um, it's pretty much in Baikon's favor, but, you know, since we're not going to be looking at, like, high level of play, um, I have no idea how this is going to go. Um, and both of these players are definitely on the newer end, so it's going to be more about, like, how, how they've grown over time. And I hope uh, they can show some good performance. Now we just got to wait for them to get here.
Run, start a zombie. Let's go. But Nuts is just playing the. I'm just gonna call him Nuts. Nuts is playing the distance game. Just a zombie, but no bites. Nuts is playing it safe. 6 H YRC throw. Nice to one through, but gets hit by the kick. Oh damn, Viking didn't turn around. Panic burst! Oh, got hit by the 2H interruption out of the follow up. Good ball, YRC. RRC. That's good IB. No block on the overhead. That was a wacky parry. No 6k, but that's fine. Nice counter hit, doesn't get much out of it. No block. Good block on the overhead there. Go knock down. Go right through that shit. Too close. Wake up for that. Oh no, the follow up straight into the thing. Alright, that's a good first game. Oh, what? Well, that happens. This round starts 6-H. It's very risky from the Hayden player, but it does get some funny stuff. Just got counter poked. Oh man, got hit, immediately gold bursted. Just jumped into the Super Bowl and got hit, that's too bad. Nice 2H under the ball. Should run through. Yeah, there we go, straight into the ball, that's what Hayden wants. Over, you go over the ball. The anti is you and you die. Yep, there it is. Oh, damn, drop the combo. Can Epsi bring this back? No, don't get hit by the ball. Oh yeah, no, oh, the burst. There we go, nice. Still managed to bring it back. <laughs> Not that turn base or call with the pot emotes. Oh, it's a leapfrog emote. Damn, I didn't even know. I feel bad. Oh, nice parry on the kick. Baited the burst. It's not really a bait, it's just a bad burst. I guess opened up by the low throw. Not too much under the ball, but it was too, uh, too close. Yes, they got the 6p, doesn't finish the combo. No, not the kick! Not that yet. That was definitely better from Absy, but not quite there yet. Oh, I did over the ball, but accidentally got hit by it. That happens. Got hit by the kick. I'm using the bar because it's disjointed. That's good. 
Oh, I did the follow up into the ball. Just a rock Atana. Weird flash. Yeah, I didn't stand block. Oh. Nice to see that you can see my overlay despite the fact that it's not supposed to. My coaching has been outed. <laughs> it's not supposed to show overlay. Thanks, uh, the OBS. Oh, yeah. That's funny. Super Bowl out. Oh no, it landed. Nice with finish. Gotta do it differently then. Must have the OK, that's fine, doesn't get any reward. What's tons of trades happening, but they're not in Absy's favor. Fat Nuts here is getting uh, so much reward. Can just play it safe. Ooh, that's a big one. In the corner. Drop the combo. That doesn't work on heavyweights. Got the parry out, but didn't do the right follow up. That's a super ball, yeah. Yeah, there is an option and it doesn't work because the option is off and uh, it captures it anyway. And uh, that very ra and that randomly works and randomly doesn't work. I don't know why. This round start to wait, isn't blocking low. Nice run up parry. Yep, no, okay, messed, messed it up, but clap for it. Oh no, that's right into... That's right into what Hayden wants. Nice. Called out the panic spacing. Nice, escape the corner like that with an air dash. A kick for it. It's very hard to kick look from there though. Yeah, now you did straight into an into an end here. Yeah, run up the zombie is not gonna work when you start throwing. Gold burst, nice. Yeah, that's the overhead, that's the... Alright, that's a 4 hour. let's see if uh, Absy can make it enough free. Oh, that was a good whiff punish, but the immediate burst. What are the squid games? Well, I'm squid and I'm running first to parts. So these are the squid games. I missed time to parry. It's gonna take a lot of damage for this. Went straight into the Takami, got also the Suzuran tank to 6p. Body space blue ball. There we go. Let's see if Nuts can bring this back. Oh, I got the 6 H. Probably one of the throw. No punish from Apsi. 
There we go, the kick. Oh, yeah, that's a good round. Not supposed to be looking like it was gonna come back, and then. Uh, Oh, that's a big 6p. Usually counter hit 6p leaves into burst safe uh, kick loops. But to burst through the gold burst into recovery. Nice. Alright, that's in the corner but with full meter. Yeah, push punish. No, that's a low. Can't stand this army there. That's a... Yeah, ball causing a lot, not allowing it to move. The two edge under. There we go. Whiff punish on the Kabari. Like, oh, no, it was an interrupt of uh, Tetsu. Counter hit 6 H that goes into Grand Vibe. Shitty burst. That's fine though, no punish. But immediate another counter hit. High stun. Another counter hit. Oh, okay, no stun. Pushed out. There's the stun. Ah, there we go. Finishes it off with a perfect. Alright. Was a bit rough for Absy there, wasn't ready for uh, a lot of the things that Nuts was doing. Nuts played very solid. Worked out pretty well. Alright, so that means coming up we're gonna have KNE versus Oriol. And I do have a bit of a problem because Eskagas said he could only show up uh, at 9. See, we have Oriole here, now we just gotta wait for King. Alright, um, Elfeld versus Jan. What do I know about that? Elfeld versus Jan. I don't know. Could might as well be Gorilla swinging at some point. But yeah, Oriol, strong biking player. Uh, also known as the unthrowable because uh, he always fucking mashes. You can't condition him. Um, I wonder how his output's gonna be. He sent me some combo videos sometimes. That was, that was pretty cool. Um, so I'm hoping he's lab. Uh, we'll see how well K and E knows the matchup. K and E's coming. We have some health of vocal things uh, going on. You finished the hitbox today? Though. Cheatbox player. Letting the intros rock. 
Oh, got immediate run under. Explode that grenade. Oriel stuck in the corner. No longer, that's a gold burst, yep. See what Kami is gonna do with the meter. Once he knocked down with the cards, lost the cards though. Yeah, used the YRC, passed the game a little bit. That's a good idea. The trade for Elfeld. Honor to these. Not, not much out of it. There we go. Six speed super. No, what the sniper? No. Oriel wasted his burst just like that. Pick up. Not gonna get much okay out of that, yeah. Help over the strong back dash. Well, made it a gray beat, but if you don't mash, you get bowed. I just run up far slash. Trying to run pressure. Or you might be lacking on the defense here. Yes! It's a big fucking hit. Cashed it all on the damage. Well, not getting much space here. There we go. I didn't get Oki out of that one. Oh, I accidentally turn around. Oh, throw. Miss space the 2H. Gem, uh, when she's doing 6H, it actually she's basically doing a 4 throw with extra range because of how her 6H like moves her forward. Two S two H is almost always throwable. I mean, a one frame gap is throwable. It's about the spacing. Oh, you basically can't space to edge to edge. Oh, okay. Only if the opponent has these. That's fair. Oh, a panic burst. Kenny okay, uh, just needs a little bit here. Trying to fish with that with that jump K. There it is. Just mash the 2K. Extension. It's cut jumping. Not something you want to happen. Okay, and he with no cards though.
Just holding up the pressure. Like just run up, and he's very confident. Doesn't deal with the late wake up that Elphal has. Oh, I DDP. Not a good parry PK combo. Clean hit. Cross up. It's nasty. It's like fucking Kai Air throwing. Like if Kai Air throws you in the corner, he can do a cross up. Too close, the Bridal Express was punishable. It doesn't get a pick up too far away. Oh missed it. Good block. You don't wanna you don't wanna block shotgun like that. You don't wanna burst shotgun like that, it's very dangerous. The classic TH parry. Blur. Oh it was too high up even. Too far away for the parry. Tried to get the reset, doesn't get it. The super ball neutral sniper. <laughs> Yeah, can you just run out button? Good way to throw, probably OS that. Nice safe jump. Oh, this threw the. What? Oh, that was all planned. That was definitely planned. Nice combo. Oh, no anti here. You get the back throw, but that, 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 that uh, was fine. There we go, Suzu throw. No, no extension. Okay, and he wants this one to kill. Oh, through the burst! No, no, oh! Nice dead angle panic burst! Oh, Oriel fucking stole that. Both players with no burst. I didn't get much out of it. This is sure. What the? Interesting. Are you with the lead here, but can you with a ton of meter? That's a good close ass. That should finish it off. There we go. Oh, there we go, finally. Oriole just stopped the run up button. Good air throw. To the interrupt with the jump H. Good blitz. Oh, can I pick up here? No, missed it. Oh, I tried to do closest. Was a little bit too early, got far slash. Oh, I think Oriole wanted to leave in shotgun stance, but messed up the knockdown. I stuck blocking near the corner. No, oh, that could have killed! Oriole just taking it easy. There we go, with the dive kick, baits the puff ball. Just barely hits it in the recovery, because it does not have a lot of recovery.
Nice IB. Make the punish a little bit juicier. Nice, the late bridal. It was risky, but uh, we got him the frame trap. Base the parry. Oh no. Too late on the timer. There's the throw. Oh, the gold burst switch. Yeah, it's very scary bursting the MTH. It's gonna do good damage. That's the cross up setup again. Yeah. Oriel saw it before, but he gets hit again. Five H. Yeah, that puffball just moves it back around. It's a big tumble. Carry PK doesn't work. There's the frame trap again. This time Oriole had me doing Oh, uh, backdash gets caught, doesn't get much. K and E may be ready now, now that he has 50 meter. No, Oriole gets to hit. Okay, what? Actually run up card charge, and then Oriole explodes. That was so giga brain that Oriole's brain exploded. Trade. There you go, whiff punish on the 2S. Goddamn, Jam has one hell of a voice in this wind chord. There we go, There's the confidence is gone a little bit. We finally saw Oriole interrupt K&E and now Brown start back dash. Now we go right back to Oriole being decimated in the corner. Low blitz. Oh. Blitz trade! Let's fucking go. That's rare as so. <laughs> hell. Nice, the late overhead with the dive kick. Yeah, had the wire C, that was gonna be very unsafe. Still got killed. Just bridle. <laughs> nice, that's clean anti air. That's a good ID. Doesn't get much of a punish, just wants the knockdown. Yeah, blocks the burst. The throw setup is doing wonders. No, it doesn't go for the card charge instead. Just uh Fast slash puffball super wants to drain it. Or go with a good amount of meter. You gotta make the comeback here, keep the momentum. Oh, that jump D was uh, misspaced, but the 5H. Kane was just out of throwing range. Good 2D. Oh, didn't get hit by the reset. That was close. The double IB on the 2H, but look at that wrist case that Oreo built up. Just gonna make sure that that uh, goes down before you get hit. That wasn't that bad, luckily. What the fuck? 5H gets hit by Jam 2H, okay. Oh no, wait, 5. Alpha's 5H, of course, hard coded with some crouching normals. So, of course, you can count the focus. Nice air throw. With the second game in Oriol. Gets the punish. Just needs one more hit. 
Okay, and he chose to get the damage there. Ooh, there, the jumping P. I think that might have been Ryujin wire, see, because if that was a normal Ryujin, then uh, Oreo would have gotten hit. Yeah, what a cross on there. Oh, nice, goes under. That's the knockdown and the card. Damn this pressure. Oh damn, the jump us. Double counter hit. Another reset. Close to stun? Nope, missed the jump eight. Missed the pair of PK. Oh, Kenny! With the 5H interrupting. Everest playing after this one? That was the plan, but es Eskaga said that uh, he couldn't show up. Four and nine, so I have to ask if he's already here or not. Oh, is Kenny gonna finish it here? No, nope, Oriel's not done yet. Tick throw. Another tick throw? Oriel would do the fourth one. Nope, six H. Oriel. <laughs> Dangerous after in the 2H. Oh, there we go. That's, that might be good damage. No, Kenny doesn't cash out. Wanted to get the grenade. That's OTG. Yeah, nice punish. Bits the burst. No, that's, that's a drop. Or with no meter, what can he make happen? Can he with burst and meter? I'm just charging max card. Oh, I tried to get the Gekkerin out. In neutral, doesn't get it. Oh. The jump age takes it. Oriel looking like he uh, might have been able to clutch it out, but not in the end. Nice set from both players. But nest. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Good over. Oh, there we go. We can have pop offs in, uh, in the Guilty Gear lobbies. Oh, yeah. The planning was to get uh, Eskagas. Sorry for misspelling your name. Uh, to fight Avarice, but I'm not sure if Eskagos is uh, up for it already. Uh, if not, I can just fight Lily, uh, Lennart Lily. and sorry for being late. No problem. Oh, there we go. Eskagas is here. Uh, that means we're gonna get Eskagas Avarice. Okay, 
Okay, I've raced it on this way. Oreo guy bike and still playing L. <laughs> Coconuts! <laughs> I gotta refill. Everyone drink water. Hydrate. You're sorry? No. Look, Oriel, you just gotta do what makes you uh, enjoy the game. Also, Oriel, can you, uh, not at your hair anyway, can you do me a favor and, like, soon enough, uh, help me unlock, like, an achievement in Master Chief Collection? Do you have, uh,. Combat Evolved installed? Alright, thanks. Where is Avarice? Uh, he's coming. So yeah, Meikai. Uh... I'm just gonna go to the May Discord because I remember this being funny. So it's like, how do I fight time? Rift punishes pokes with 5k, counter poke far slash with 6p, space jump as well to trade with his 6p, be aware of his jump k and 2h at all times, don't get hit, take extra caution with summons, YRC if need be, avoid using jump 2h on his head, it's a pretty hard matchup. So yeah, I wonder if uh, Eskagos knows how to play around Kai very well. But at the same time, Avarice is not the average Kai player, right? He's a little bit more wild. He likes using some of the riskier stuff. If it requires skill, we are fucked. No, it's literally just playing a match, uh, Oriole. Like it's like play on uh, Blood Gulch capture the flag with four players and uh, we're short a player <laughs> what's funny is uh, trying to unlock all the achievements and getting the lasso achievement before getting <laughs> before getting uh, that achievement is pretty funny alright Eskagos starting off strong goes under the DP Mace 2k has a little bit of low profile and uh, Kai's DP has the, the problem. There we go. We saw it, saw it again. Kai's DP has a bit of a problem of going on the low profile moves. Biken can even beat it with her 2P, which is like very, very small low profile. So any amount of low profile will beat Kai's DP. Starting off with a perfect. Had a full stick of butter too. Everest already playing it more safe. Nice air throw. First out, doesn't want to deal with the pressure. Still call me telling you. A nice dash of DP through the moves. RC. You don't want mate to jump at you and hit you because that hurts. Nice, the, there's the trade. Oh, run under 2D, I like that. Oh, Mr. Aerthro, trade. A little bit too far to get something there. There's the knockdown. Oh, there's the nice jump in. Here's the Oki game. Double Dolphin, nope, low or high. 
late hit and reach saver. God damn. That's hit by the, the stun edge. Dangerous jump in, but it worked out. Everest is not really using 2H here. Either that or it's not working very well. Interesting stun dipper, but had 50 meter enemy. No IBs. Yeah, there we go. Nice YRC, gets the 2H, doesn't get much out of it. Counter hit stun dipper. Throw reset. And Everest takes the first game. That's something that I know Avarice really likes to do. It's like you go for you go for it and then you go for the throw. Usually if you want to make it really safe, you can just uh do split seal and then go for micro dash 2D. Oh boy, that they're just whiffing. There we go. Jump jump D does the work, but this can get a good confirm out of it. Okay, that's a good hit, that's a juggle. Double dolphin. Oh, what a clash. Neither player actually <laughs> cancelled it. Oh, let's just about just in the air. That's it, yeah. I thought Everest had that when he hit the blitz. Eskagas just walking uh, Everett into the corner. Oh, it doesn't confirm the counter, but that's a shame. Damn, got to jump to H on the other side. STP covers both sides. Back test the throw, but. Ever is not uh, ready with a jump up for the throw OS. You know when you wanna when you throw OS, you actually wanna do the Gatling after. You don't just wanna do a button because um, that's the thing. In case your throw misses, your other inputs don't do anything anyway. So you might as well uh, with Kai like go for close S2H or something. Or too far for the stun dipper. Just barely avoids the jump D, this is a very active button. Skagos with no health. Oh, that's so much damage! Okay, her air throw halfway across the screen. Nice. That was a, that was a good throw, was there? Hide a grappler. <laughs> he only has mids. And like an unblockable that, that's uh, not that not that high reward. So he has to he has to throw. SDP. Counter NTP, that's get, that's a big knockdown. I first good face control here. Just wearing Eskikas down very, very slowly. Oh, I didn't get the pickup. Oh, I thought it was... Oh, I thought that was gonna be a throw. Everest takes the second game. Yeah, we saw the first one. We saw Eskagos just completely run over Everest, and now Everest is just taking the games here. Another great tower. Another one. Another one. There we go. With punish. Another one. Yeah, IB. If you air IB, the, the blocks are so much shorter. Nice, nice block and it doesn't get a punish, but you know, big counter hit reset is even better. There's the overhead. Oh, it doesn't confirm. Nice safe play from Eskagas. It doesn't get the pickup. Everest back at the corner position. 
Wait, Creed Sever YRC lets you fucking air dash after? Why? I think you should jump install them on Creed Sever to be able to do that. Nice jumping P. It might have jump installed it. That would have been funny. Nice. So, reacted to the air IB. Had to RC. The DP putting him in the corner. Also has to block the OG. Doesn't block it. The pressure. Oh, for fuck. Greed server YRC 2k. So much corner pressure. Oh, nice. Eskagos managed to squeeze his way out. Oh, the blitz. Got the burst, but has to. Got the burst, which is good. But let's see if. Let's see who's gonna take the round. Eskagos wearing Ember is down again. That's a big whiff. No, it doesn't get a punish. Oh, it doesn't get a clean anti air there. Everest wanted more than just the 2H there. Oh, very low both players. FD pushing out. It's down to neutral here. Oh, Dolphin! Yeah, there's the DP. Saw the wire C pause. Dolphin start up. Nothing Eskagos could do. Nice backdash. Oh, that's a good counter hit. It's a risky thing for me to do, but... Oh, let your hair down. There's a blitz on the flash game. It's not really a flash game, it's the, the up dolphin. Yeah, dead angle doesn't want to deal with it. It's double jumps. Damn efforts with the snipe. Oh, that's a big DP whiff, but no punish. No anti air? There, there we go. Close as anti air. Press the bait something. Everest ready with the air ID. RC wants to get big damage. That's Percy. Oh, it doesn't miss the air dash. Again, super low. Oh, that's a 2 8 trade. Everest going straight for it! Or, yeah. Oh, Eskagos was just like tech and then double jump forward. That's really risky. Locks the jump D, doesn't take the extra air actions. Just to see what Everest is trying to do. With the 2 H, that's really scary, but worked out in his favor. Alright, Eskagas doing clean here. Everest with the pressure, just using that 6k. You don't really want to mash after this 6k. Maybe he was expecting a throw. A nice backdash. A air IB, but then gets hit. Eskagas also again, you know, using that low. Can avoid the DP. Yeah, wanted to, wanted to see a DP there. But Everest was patient. Caught the backdash. Oh, the beach ball. Oh my god, the beach ball pushed him all the way to the corner. Oh, the second hit of Stun Leopard just hit him. Got the back dash, doesn't confirm. There we go, whip punish on the Stun Leopard. Stun Leopard had OTG. I 
Eskagas not really doing much about the 6 H. Like, Kai's 6 H is very, very plus. But if you do something like I beat if like FD the first hit and I beat the second hit, it's really hard for Kai to actually use in pressure. Nice throw. Yeah, the two eight, the two DK was uh, maybe a little bit early, so the DP hit the recovery. ID pressure. Oh, nice two eights to get out of it. That was too high up to really get something. Oh no, no whiff punish on the stun dipper. Maybe afraid that Everett is gonna use the meter. How could I be? Oh, there we go. 2D and tier again. Kai's 2D is just very, very active, and Everett's as good as like putting it out there as Eskagas is gonna land. Yeah, a nice 2 with 2H. Got the IED and doesn't get much. There we go. Dolphin RC. Need a good setup here. Blocks the overhead. What the fuck? Cross up overhead? That might have been cross up protection. There we go. Alright, clapping back. Let's see what's gonna be made of this set. I have to block it, that's rough. There we go. Eskagas like trying to stay outside of specific ranges, using the biggest buttons to control as much space. Just misses the tech trap. This is the corner. Throw the random standard Nice back dash throw. Hit the RC. Yeah, it doesn't help. Once you get that PRC, you're more so back to playing real new to playing like neutral than uh, actually running pressure. Good back dash, damn risky with the short stunage right in the pressure. Damn just walking up in May's face. Yeah, wants to hold this pressure, doesn't get to hold it though. DP. Nice, I avoids the 5D, but you know, with the backdash and then the IED, that was a little bit too slow. Got jumping peak for it. Again, doesn't do much against the 6H. Everest with meter, so confident enough to stun it there. There we go, jumps the air throw attempt. Eskagas with some momentum. Everest with no burst anymore, that's really good for Eskagas. Good DP. Nice avoids the DP, doesn't get much. Thank you, Mr. Alder. Oh, gets, gets the backdash, doesn't confirm. Beach ball hits him. Oh! was a gravy but if you don't mash wait till Everest figures out you can 6 speed dolphin just 6 speed just 6 speed Totsugeki
Oh, there we go. That's the corner confirm out of it. Oh, no, misses the ID. Five eight, stun. Just yeah. Don't do anything fancy. Oh, just a raw three K. That's risky. Wow, what a back. I say like, oh, Escogos is not doing much against 6 eight. all of a sudden, back dash throw that shit. A double jump, doesn't want to get anti-aired. And that, another raw 3k. Escogos is just getting away with murder. Keep, uh, keep him on the ground. Got the burst. Oh, right into the jump D. Nice conversion from Avarice. Nice blocks from, from Eskigos. Oh, damn. Catches the back dash. Could this be it? No, misses it. What a weird beach ball hit. Yeah, FD out with punish with the 2D. Oh, the 3k whiffed! Eskagos is just thinking like, oh, if he's not gonna punish my 3k, that means I can keep doing it. That makes it equal, 3-3. Eskagos got the sniff of uh, victory coming up. Okay, the jump IB again, but too low to the ground. Good air throw. And there we go. Eskagos is trying to do something after that 6H, and it's really plus. And, and also Kai has Gatlings and Special Pencils from both hits. You gotta do 6H1 Breed 7. That's the fun, man. Just max charge the blitz, get whiff punished. Yeah, but that's so far away for Kai, that's uh, hard to get much out of. DP. Get the Oki. Just double jump, damn. Avarice, uh, Eskagos is just like loving the double jump. So nah. Go. Dolphin catches this, the back dash. Ephra's playing it in the air. Oh, what the fuck was that cross up? Good, nice. Using the good hitbox on the 5 8 to counter poke the 2D. Tries the tech trap again. 2 H works. Yeah, catches the blitz. Oh, that's stun. Nice. The stun doesn't run out, and Eskagos gets to finish the round. Nice cross on there. Everest got the corner here, gets the throw reset, but throws him out of the corner. Well, there's the normal combo, small drop, but that happens. Especially on net play. Nice IB. That's the 3k. This time actually RCs it. See if Eska can make this comeback happen. Or if Everest is gonna... Nice. Everest just needs one hit here. Come back to neutral. Get the DP in. Just a little tap. There we go. Use the fireball.
At that point, as Eska goes, I, I guess the only thing you could have done is FD and then play really, really difficult neutral. Or you're not even allowed to block a fireball. Oh, that's a big counter hit? Yeah, confirms it. Gets the IED. Good for Mavu is bursting there, that's a guaranteed burst point. Nice FD, but that doesn't matter, gets the throw. Actually one of May's biggest starters, if not her biggest starter. Oh, that OTG and Senga! Yeah. Doesn't matter. It's just a difference maker between a win and a perfect. Or <laughs> late hit greets ever. Yeah, good 2H. Everett's going back to using that, like, YRC pass to see what's going on. Oh, fucking right through the closest. This DP. Oh, Asuka goes. Very low health, yeah, the 6H finishes it off. Okay. Oh, that's a was a really good hit from Everest. Doesn't get much out of it. Oh, yeah, had to burst. That was gonna that was gonna hurt like hell. There we go. Back this out out of the out of the six H this time. Not too early. Nice back dash, but it gets caught. Okay, wrong side closes, but it still fucking hits. That's pretty funny. Guess the throw in after Everest gets hit. Oh, you know that feeling when when they hit the tick part of the tick throw, and then you're too afraid to do anything but block. Them. Okay, no blitz back. Had no meter. Back dash the five D. Has to hold this. Oh, overhead. That's not gonna kill though. That's very pro rated. Oh, back dash the no burst. Oh. Everest almost took the set right there. Hell yeah, we got the 4-4. Make it final round. Reach servers are never late. Nor are they early. They precisely when they mean to. Do any of you know that, like, or remember that uh, GC Yoshi tweet where he he's talking like, like a kendo master, you gotta fight like at the tip of the thing, and all he, he literally went like beats Amelia by doing bleed sever into like close as to HDP. There we go, nice IB. Thank you, Abzi, for the gift sub. Corpse, like, make sure to thank her. Alright, has to deal with the OP. Yeah, that's the single overhead. Another single overhead. Yeah, Eskigas with like no health. Still, you gotta always never give up. Aim for the comeback. And even if, maybe, uh, you know, extend the length of the round, get some of your burst back. Oh, Escargas is in the corner again. Okay, let's see. Managed to turn the positions around. Stunned it for NTS Dolphin. Oh, bad burst. Escargas have to make a good comeback here and then has to go into the next round with way less burst than Avarice. Oh, that's good. No, oh, what happened? Oh crap, what happened?
barcode sign out. Oh, that's such a shame. Oh, Everest just quit. I just want to see what the players have to say. <laughs> We're just gonna finish this shit. Fuck you with your GG's, we're gonna finish this shit. Foggers. Nice IBs. Oh, gotta hydrate. Avarus once again with that corner advantage, but loses it immediately. Nice jump in P. Skagas looking like Avarus is in the corner, but every time this gets hit and gets blown right back mid screen. Okay, there we go. Can Eskagas get something started? Nope, stunted from East Dolphin with PRCs and goes for the punish. Nice air throw. When you're buff Kai like that, he threatens to hit you with 2H or other strong anti airs. Double Dolphin. Doesn't block. Nice. Hit some of the overhead. Another overhead. Oh no! Oh, mashes into the blitz attack. There's two S under the air dash. Rod for the game again. Interesting uh, throw set up. The throw was beating it there. Blocks the burst. The beach ball ruined it. Oh no, no, no pickup! There we go, the dolphin hitting him. I think he was trying to stun the brick in. Alright, final round. Everest with almost no burst. Big counter hit. No, not, not both hits of Insania. Everest got him in the corner. Oh, the mesh. Yeah, this time let the blitz attack work. Don't go and mesh 2k into it. Nice blitz. Wants to get the max start. That's plus. Nice side B. May reasons are the reasons I buy best big straws. And just get the max charge. Gets for the throw. Yeah, it has to burst. Aska goes with meter. Gets whip punished. Has the FD. Ooh, and the frame trap. Yeah, I didn't want to deal with a throw.
Roundstar Greed Sever. The big brain stuff. Roundstar Greed Sever is to start to condition you so they can do Roundstar Stun with them. Alright, that means that coming up, we're going into our final game. We're gonna go into me versus Lena Lily. Give me one moment, I have to close the door. Before uh, bugs start coming in. Literally waste channel points for 6,969 uh, points. <laughs> Beautiful. Alright, so... Oh, there's students, Lily. <sighs> Let a brick cost be X and a half brick. Let a brick cost be X and a half brick. X and a half brick. How much does the brick cost? That's a. Uh, I, I guess X? Or like X minus? Wait. A brick's cost is X plus half a brick. So it's X plus a self reference? I'm not gonna do that now. <laughs> That's such a stupid question. <laughs> It's X plus whatever it costs. Otanomi Mos, Otanomi Mos, Sotuzinagara, Mehua Izuko, Gedoga Wareba Taminganak. We were getting jumps and we wanted to follow up on charge stunners. Oh, that that's why we were so jumpy. Burst. Yeah, 
Nice blitz ball. Oh god. Oh, I don't have burst. Too far. I don't know, what are these lag spikes? It's weird. The connection itself is kind of fine, but... I don't know if this is normal. Thank you, Exard, for uh, being fucking whack. Oh, Mr. Mr. Punch. Oh, I got my uh Oh damn the bubble hit. Yeah, I know I spike is pretty minus. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, damn, I spoke wise too. Nice 6p. Oh, the laser! Oh, I didn't see that. On the flash. Too high up, I think. Never mind, not too high up. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> oh, 
Ooh. Wacky. Fucking heart was beating. So the thing about this matchup on my end is uh, I really really need to lock her down. Hence I'm doing really crazy pressure. <laughs> That was crap first. Wacky cross up. I think we should just not use that shit. Fuck, I should have just punished that. Oh, fuck. Ah. <laughs> Bruh. The 2D. Sorry, then I'm kind of quiet. <laughs> this is a... A hard matchup for me personally. Yeah, no, 
Oh, fuck's sake. Oh. I, I beat my jump best on that. Fuck's sake! Oh, what the fuck? I thought I was dead, actually, and then I just six k and die. Imagine dead, angle. And every time I, I hit my jumping key, I didn't buffer it correctly. That we punish. The life lead helped. Yameda. Okay, winning round for me. The bubble still exploded, okay. Nice. 
Why do I keep jumping in fire bubble? Yeah, nice. Got the comeback. Why do I 2H there? Nice. Yeah, In the corner we go. Oh. Fucking heart this racing. <laughs> GG's. Weird that the first game was so spiky. I should definitely play Lena Flaily more if uh, they would like to. I think we both have some stuff to practice in that matchup. Lily's got some pretty good setups though. Um Oh well, yes, that should finish it off for today's first of five. Um, I'm glad we managed to make it until at least two hours because uh, usually I'm a little uh, ner I was a little nervous considering the amount of matches, but these last two especially. Oh, pardon. These last two especially have been uh, very long, very close, very enjoyable. Um, so I hope everyone else enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed playing. Um, um, yeah, I guess that's just uh, gonna be the end of today's first of five. Let's see if there's anyone that we can raid, preferably an excerpt streamer. That's me. Nope, I'm the only one. Anyone have any uh, stream suggestions? Moss? Yeah, I was thinking Moss. Alright, so... Um, we may not be finding another uh, fighting game streamer, but I do know Moss who loves fighting games herself. Uh, she's playing uh, was it Blood Lords, which is Pathfinder uh, tabletop RPG, and she's playing with Stream Puff and Leapfrog Pocho, which are two players that are pretty well known in the extra community, so let's, uh, let's see what they're up to when they're not playing uh, Guilty Gear. Huh? Uh, let's see. So yeah, thanks everyone for watching, thanks for everyone for joining, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in two weeks with the next one. Uh, have a good, have a good night, everyone.